Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today held a telephone call with His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed of Oman. His Majesty King Hamad reviewed with His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq the existing cooperation relations between the two brotherly countries and the efforts being exerted at all levels to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19 and mitigate its effects on humans. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect the entire humanity from epidemics and diseases. His Majesty King Hamad wished His Majesty Sultan Haytham abundant health and happiness and more progress and prosperity to the Omani people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at his palace in Rafah the President of the Supreme Council for Health, the SCH, and Chairman of the National Task Force for Combating Coronavirus COVID-19, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness paid tribute to the medical and nursing competencies as well as volunteers in the kingdom for their keenness to answer the call of duty and be in the first defense line to preserve the health security in the kingdom, giving directives to study the suitable mechanics to appreciate and reward them for their dedication and commitment to the noble human values of medicine and medical professions. His Royal Highness the Premier also directed to follow up and follow on the providing all the needs of the medical and nursing caterers so as to be able to carry out their duties to the fullest as well as protect them from risks. He hailed the tremendous efforts exerted by the medical sector to protect society from diseases and epidemics. The Prime Minister ordered to continue and intend the field visits conducted by the Ministry of Health to include various regions nationwide, especially those for expatriate workers' accommodations, in a way that contributes to providing them with all aspects of health support and appreciation of their services to the development process in the Kingdom. The Prime Minister was updated about the latest developments regarding the public campaign to combat the coronavirus COVID-19 and its efforts to carry out field visits and conduct laboratory tests in many regions for the sake of preserving public health. His Royal Highness the Premier said that Bahrain boasts distinguished national medical competencies, noting that Bahrain is reaping the fruits of its efforts to develop its human resources in the educational and health fields so as to be effective elements in building and developing and protecting their nation. His Royal Highness the Premier stressed that the health system in Bahrain has proved its merit and ability to deal with the requirements of the current crisis, which is the fruitful outcome of the foundations on which the medical and other sectors has been built. He added that this would not have been possible if the government had not been keen on strengthening the health infrastructure as well as upgrading and developing the health sector in accordance with an ambitious strategy aimed at improving public health and enhancing the quality of health and treatment services according to the latest world systems. His Royal Highness extended congratulations to all the affiliates of the health sector on the World Health Day, stressing that the world recalls with pride the great efforts and roles of the medical and nursing staff for the sake of ensuring the health and safety of everyone. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed pride in the high sense of patriotism showcased by all Bahrainis who rallied together to volunteer and serve the nation in order to overcome the challenge created by the spread of COVID-19 and deal with it with awareness and responsibility commensurated with the requirements of the current phase. The SCH president expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, a Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for their sound directives that contributed to the Kingdom's success in overcoming the challenges the world is going through. He lauded His Royal Highness the Premier's unwavering interest in the health sector as well as his constant keenness to follow up closely on all the efforts of the national campaign to combat COVID-19. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at his palace in Rafah today. The Education Minister Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi and Works Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning Minister Hassan bin Abdullah Khalaf and reviewed with them the ongoing efforts to ensure the continuous delivery of various educational and municipal services. His Royal Highness Prime Minister has given directives to the Minister of Education to work with private schools and agree on the appropriate solutions that do not overburden parents amid the current circumstances. 
circumstances and at the same time ensure that private schools' efforts to serve the educational march will not be affected. As Royal Highness the Premier also urged the same ministry to find an appropriate mechanism that ensures that the conditions of some categories such as workers in kindergartens and nurseries will not be affected. As Royal Highness the Premier also instructed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning to stop collecting rents from tenants of municipal properties for a period of three months, namely April, May and June of 2020, taking into account the current conditions, especially for low-income and self-employed citizens who have been affected in coordination with the Ministry of Labour and Social Development. As Royal Highness the Premier pointed out that the educational process in the Kingdom enjoys all kinds of support thanks to the distinguished services it delivers to prepare and rehabilitate the future generations, underlining the government's keenness to develop the educational services to improve the educational output and serve the Kingdom's efforts in the field of human development. The Prime Minister also directed the Ministry of Education to put in place all facilities that enhance the efficiency of communication with students as well as provide the necessary technical support to follow up on the students' academic achievements. His Royal Highness the Premier asserted that Bahrain is capable of overcoming various circumstances as well as carry on its nation-building process. Education Minister expressed honour in meeting His Royal Highness the Premier, noting that he informed the Prime Minister about the Education Ministry's efforts to ensure the continued of educational services for all students through the educational portal, televised lessons in cooperation with the Ministry of Information Affairs and YouTube channels, in addition to the large number of materials prepared by teachers to consolidate the digital content available for students. Dr. Naimi also highlighted the efforts exerted by the Ministry of Education in coordination with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to serve Bahraini students abroad and ensure their safe return home. Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf said that he had updated His Royal Highness the Premier about the work progress in various sectors of the Works Ministry as well as about the Ministry's achievements within the Government's Action Plan. The Minister indicated that His Royal Highness the Premier had stressed that municipal services delivered to the citizens and work at various projects up implemented by the Works Ministry should continue. He also highlighted His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's directives to support the citizens and investors through stop, uh, stopping collecting rents of municipal properties for three months. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired a virtual meeting in line with the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, chairman of National Security Advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the decisions adopted by the Coordination Committee to prevent the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the kingdom was able to control the spread of the virus successfully thanks to the coordination committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince which has developed precautionary measures to control the spread of the pandemic. The meeting included the participation of the President of Bahrain Martial Arts Council, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of the SCYS, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Emil Mu'ayyad, the Assistant Secretary General of the SCYS, Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, the Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Hassan Al Nisaf, and the sports consultant of the SEYS, President Mohammed Hamad Al Ajmi. He stated that the directors of His Highness Sheikh Nasser have reinforced the implementation of the measures that maintain the Bahraini sports community to prevent the spread of the disease. July 1st was approved as a date to consider completing or cancelling competitions, taking into account the decisions of international and continental federations for each game. During the meeting, His Highness was briefed on the visions of the sports union's president for this season. On the occasion of World Health Day, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia Zainal, expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his support to the health sector and his directives to develop the health services system and make achievements in light of the comprehensive development process. Zainal expressed appreciation for the government's efforts in supporting the development of healthcare and providing the best services in accordance with the highest international standards, as well as their efforts to contain and prevent the spread of 
of the coronavirus pandemic according to the precautionary measures for which the kingdom received tribute from the World Health Organization. She also congratulated all health sector workers, including medical, nursing and administrative staff, on their noble efforts, outstanding work and active role in preserving the health and safety of all and in combating the novel coronavirus. The Representatives Council held its weekly session chaired by its speaker, Fawzia Zainal. During the meeting, the council approved the request to extend the working period of the Parliamentary Inquiry Committee into the causes of the economic and real estate recession to four months. The council also approved a draft law on volunteering to serve public security and referred it to the Shura Council. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to support and develop the contact tracing team, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa visited the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19 Operations Room at the Crown Prince Centre for Training and Medical Research at the Bahrain Defence Force Hospital, where he was accompanied by the Public Security Chief and received by Royal Medical Services Commander. The Interior Minister praised the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which contributed to strengthening precautionary measures as part of the national efforts to limit the spread of the coronavirus. During the visit, the Interior Minister reviewed the procedures and measures that the team is undertaking for the safety of citizens and residents. He also valued the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in achieving full performance coordination between concerned authorities within the framework of the national. National Task Force for Combating COVID-19. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the members of the contact tracing team for their entire untiring efforts in a way that contributes to limiting the spread of the coronavirus, praising the efforts of the General Department of Investigation and Forensic Science in this regard and its role in preparing this team in cooperation with the concerned authorities, wishing everyone success in the performance of the tasks assigned to them. The Minister of Interior was accompanied during the visit by the Director General of the General Department of Investigation and Forensic Science. On the occasion of the World Health Day, which is celebrated this year under the theme Nurse and Midwife Support, the Ashura Council expressed thanks and appreciation to the medical and nursing team for their noble humanitarian efforts in preserving the health and safety of all citizens and residents of Bahrain. In a statement, the Council expressed pride in the outstanding contributions and sincere efforts made by the medical and nursing caterers in combating the threat of the novel coronavirus COVID-19, where the Kingdom earned an extensive international acclaim for the way it is handling this pandemic. The Shura Council affirmed that the health sector in Bahrain is a priority and has the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa which contributed to the advanced level of health services and systems according to the best international principles and standards in this field. The Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi paid tribute to all health workers in Bahrain, stressing their outstanding contributions and sincere efforts in combating the threat of the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The Minister said the integration of these efforts in addressing threats demonstrated the strength and professional standards of the health system in Bahrain as it addresses the biggest global health challenge. He highlighted the special attention and care provided by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister bin Khalifa. Salman Al Khalifa and by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. In a statement on the occasion of the World Health Day marked on April the 7th, Aramehi expressed gratitude, appreciation and praise to all health worker workers, describing them as the first line of defense in hospitals, laboratories, isolation, quarantine and treatment centers, and as their lead ranks in protecting citizens and residents that ensures that all people in Bahrain enjoy health and safety and security. The minister expressed pride in the devoted efforts that are exerted at all times and in exceptional circumstances in order to protect the health and safety of the nation. 
A press conference was held earlier to discuss the latest developments related to COVID-19. The Minister of Health, Faika Saleh, stated that the country's priority is the health of its citizens and residents, reassuring that all that the number of recovered and discharged is increasing. She announced that in order to facilitate the testing procedure, the drive through test mechanism has been implementing at the Bahraini Center for exhibition and conferences. She announced that there will be a decision and issued to oblige and citizens and residents to wear masks in public areas which will be available in pharmacies and shops and can be made at home as well where there will be guidelines on how to make them on the Ministry of Health's website. She added that the second decision is to oblige shops and businesses to continue the procedures of disinfection and sanitization and organize distance according to the standards of social distancing. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Zayani, expressed gratitude to all medical caterers for their efforts as they are working on the front line to combat the virus on the occasion of World Health Day. He stated that based on the decisions that have been issued, that following places will remain closed. Cinemas, gyms, private schools, and to limit the activities of the restaurants and shisha takeaways and delivery salons, non-essential services. He stated that private sector should implement the working from home system as much as possible, reduce the number of users of transportation. He stated the great collaboration of the private sector in proof that the Bahraini community is aware and conscious. The infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF hospital and member of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Colonel Dr. Menaf al Gahtani, hailed the positive results achieved by Bahrain, which were recognized by all the world, adding that the kingdom has the capacity to treat people and conduct tests. He reiterated the need to wear masks in order to curb the spread of the virus. The consultant of infections and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, stated that the current active cases reached 349 with four critical cases and medical specialized teams are looking after them and providing them with the best means of assistance. She added that the number of recovering cases reached 458 recovered and the ministry follow up on them for six weeks. She added that other countries have contacted Bahrain to know about its experience in combating the spread of the virus. In line with ongoing national efforts to contain the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19, a specialized medical team in collaboration with the General Directorate of Civil Defense, as well as community police and volunteers, continue to conduct field visits across the kingdom to collect random medical samples via mobile screening units in order to safeguard the health and safety of the community. The Ministry have confirmed the specialized medical team visited Block 303, a number of labor demonstrators in Head Town, Elba Industrial Zone, as well as various locations near private hospitals in the capital governorate and Hara governorate. Further to these efforts, the General Directorate of Civil Defense continues to conduct disinfection and sterilization procedures across the kingdom in conjunction with awareness initiatives led by the community police to ensure the regulations and various health guidelines issued are properly implemented and followed. The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the MTT, have confirmed that Khalifa bin Salman Port KBSP, which handles 99.5% of consumer goods to Bahrain, continues to operate at its full capacity to support the national economy. The Ministry, in collaboration with the port operator APM Terminals Bahrain, has been working actively to maintain critical operations at KBSP through the implementation of strict health and safety measures to limit the spread of coronavirus COVID-19 disease across Across its operations. The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications asserted that they are working to ensure the business continuity of operations in Khalifa bin Salman port as it is a vital and important facility as we strive to minimize any negative impact on the supply chain and local trade to support Bahrain's national economy. The Ministry is also working to maintain the highest possible standards of health, security and safety at the port and encourage all customers to make use of online services as much as possible as it reduces the time and efforts needed for customers, which also goes in line with the precautionary and preventive measures taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain to reduce the spread of the virus. For more on this, we are joined now by the CEO and Managing Director of APM Terminals Bahrain, Ms. Susan Hunter. Hello, Mrs. Ms. Hunter. How did the current situation impact the operations at KBSP? Hi, good evening. 
So I think it's fair to say that the COVID-19 virus is impacting all of our lives and businesses. Um, and I don't think anyone knows exactly what the overall impact will be. But I think one of the things to focus on here is, uh, is how much it's impacting our daily lives here in the terminal. So we understand uh, the critical role we play uh, in, the, in driving the national economy. And I think one of the things to possibly start with is, is understanding that role. So as you mentioned earlier, 90% of all the products that you find in Bahrain really come through the port, including the, the, the food supplies. And uh, many of our local businesses also depend on the port to export their goods to their customers. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, we also employ over 500 people here at the Teams of Bahrain. So it's really important to understand the essential role that we play. So when you look at that, we have to be absolutely sure that we can manage any impact uh, that comes to us uh, around COVID-19. And so we work on several areas. So really having to look at how we interact with vessels. Uh, so in the past, uh, you know, vessels would come to the port. Now they have to declare 10 ports before they're able to embark with us and no crew members are able to come, come into the port. Mm -hmm. What we're also seeing is that our day-to-day -day lives of how our people are handling um, our equipment and handling the cargo has completely changed mm -hmm. the, the uh, Social distancing and the sanitisation processes have changed the way that they interact. If you look at how we interact with our customers, all of that is almost done digitally now or remotely. So no longer can we just come together in meetings with our customers. We've had to find new ways and new processes to do it. Mm -hmm. and I, I think probably just the last and probably most important point is, uh, is, is how it's impacting our people's lives. So one of the things that's important for us here to keep the port open is mm -hmm. to make sure that we have very strong uh, business continuity plans. And that means that none of our shifts are able to come together and talk to each other at all anymore. And we've had to actually change the way that we operate our shifts. So some people have gone from working eight hours to 12 hours, and that has a huge impact also in their lives. But they've done it with a spirit of, co of collaboration and cooperation because they really understand this key role that we play. Mm -hmm. So while it has really impacted you know, everything we do, I think we're really, really proud to have taken that impact on board and to be able to, to keep the port open and running for our customers uh, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for all the measures that are been taking to protect, of course, the safety and health of your uh, customers and employees. So that was the CEO and Managing Director of APM Terminals Bahrain, Susan Hunter. Thank you very much for joining us.